Alright, welcome back, my YouTube people, to the Count Ship of Waterdown. We are just kind of plugging away. We're, we're, we're kind of hitting a, a point of equilibrium where our constructors can finally, like, do all the little minimal repairs they've been needing to do for, I don't know, six episodes. And we just have not had freaking time to do any of it. Unfortunately, for my YouTube people and for the Twitch people who came in late, we did last episode lose our good friend Christian. He's buried in Oven's Hands sarcophagus because it was originally for Oven. I don't think he'll mind. Uh, it has art on it. I haven't actually looked at the art of this one. Your episode 6 comes out tomorrow. I can't wait. I've been enjoying your playthrough. I need to go back and rewatch the whole thing again. I may do that tomorrow while I'm doing some other stuff. Wow, yeah. Oh, this is amazing. This is when we put the healing thing in her. This is when we put the healing enhancer in her. The sarcophagus is engraved with a representation of Oven slicing into Tess during surgery as she trembles with fear. Oven looks incredibly focused on the task. At the edge of the image are two vampires. The overall composition is rectangular. This depiction refers to Oven operating on Tess on the 9th of Jugus. That was when we put her healing enhancer in. And then a day or two after that, she went and got her brain blown out at a freaking rate. It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Oh, you know what? You've got a quest. And I want it. Because I've still got stuff I can do. Hospitality refugee, hospitality prisoners. Let's talk about the refugees. Hopeless nomads. Last time we did one of these, it bit us in the ass, but I don't really care. Uh, six desperate refugees. Their leader is named Macius. They say they were banished from their town due to moral disagreements. Macius begs you for permission to stay at Andy Sandberg for 18 days so they can rest and regroup. All right. Now hear me out, you piece of shit. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. All right, hear me out. I'm gonna let y'all come in. If y'all betray me, if y'all betray me, there's gonna be some come to Jesus moments, and I don't think you're gonna enjoy it. You know what I should do? I should put him in this back back room. So that if they do betray me, I can just, like, corner them here and just take them out. Yeah, in before betrayal. I've gotten... So the first set of refugees we ever had actually went really well. The second set of refugees, it went really well until one of them got killed by, like, a fucking cougar or a warg or something. And they turned on me, and so I just had to shoot him dead. The third one, they betrayed me. This is number four. Don't make it such a hard split for me trying to get murdered. You will not enjoy it. There's really no reason for me to even do this, honestly, but whatever. Let's do it. It's funny. You got Anita, Hugens, Christy, Masius, Rose, and Sound. Okay. Understandable. We've got a free statue now. That's also understandable. Alright. What can y'all do? Uh, you can all firefight. I know that much. Oh, you guys are all my religion. The, the old historical faith religion. The one that we had at the very beginning. Very neat. Very good. Very good. Okay. Love you. Y'all can all bed rest if you need to. I'm okay with that. Y'all are all on, like, super haul duty. If I need something hauled, you're basically it. I'm just gonna go ahead and set y'all's permissions. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, man. I was talking to my wife. But Although I do love you. Don't get me wrong. Um, is it okay for me to say that? <laughs> You know I love you, man. Dang, I do love you, though. Come on, man. You're my good friend. You're such a good friend. I haven't seen y'all in so long. I need to come see y'all at some point once all this crap blows over. Um, you do not need to hunt for me. Uh, I actually specifically don't want you to hunt, to be completely honest. Uh, I want you to hunt primarily. You can definitely be doing some constructing. You can definitely be helping with the growing. I'm fine with that. You are a miner. 100%. Uh, art. 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 Smithing and tailoring. Feel free. Any crafting you want to do. Uh, any research y'all want to do. I'm okay with the. I know this is taking forever, but when you allow six refugees to join your colony, it takes a little while to get all their stats back. All right, cool. Fellow Rimworlders Unite! We are absolutely uniting. I still want to do that idea that we were floating. 
where we do the uh, the co-op RimWorld stream and to see how it goes. I absolutely want to do that. It is 100% a thing I want to do. Uh, we're going to kill this fire real quick. I got, I'm, I'm for it. 100%. It's, it's absolutely going to be a train wreck. And I can't wait. I cannot wait for it to be a train wreck. Yep, 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 yep. Y'all get out here. And then we'll clear this area as soon as you're done. Thank you for beating out that fire. I, like, I'm not low on wood, but I sure would like for there to be wood later if I need it. Alright, y'all are doing the Lord's work of mining. Thank you. We have 10 people with tattered apparel. I don't know what to tell you. We need a research project. I've had that going for a while now and just realized that. Neural supercharger. Ooh. I didn't know you could t tempt me with things I wanted. Shields? Oh, I thought I thought you meant like medieval shields. I was like, why did I need microelectronics just to learn medieval shields? It seems ridiculous. Ooh, mortars. I feel like mortars would be really useful, right? Because we could put them, uh, we could put them where they could fire into our little death trap here. You could even install them like right here, so they can't get to them very easily. Wall this back up and just let them fire over. Can you do that? I hope you can do that because that's what I want to do. All right, animals are doing okay. Do we ever finish training this mega sloth? No, that mega sloth definitely needs to get trained. Uh, I would love for you two to train my mega sloth, please. Uh, and where's the cougar? Cougar, cougar, cougar. Cougar's fine. Cougar is in the process of being trained. You're at attack. Oh, you lost a level of rescue. Yeah, you need to be like trained, dude. Minimum range to fire, but would wreck your wood walls easily. That's understandable. What I need to do, actually, is just go ahead and replace all these walls. And now that they're here, and I can get them to help with the construction work, maybe that's what I do, honestly. You know what? I think we do that. Thank you for mentioning that. That is a great idea. Uh, slate. I just need to do this anyways, honestly. I've been putting it off mainly because I just didn't think about it. And uh, it needs to be done. What just happened? Oh, they didn't enjoy their visit? Oh, fucking boo -wah, sorry. You know, we're not the Hilton, man. You know, like, we're just simple people trying to live on a rim world, same as you. You can't be, you can't be expecting, like, five-star service. Uh, Chotra hit a trap, that's pretty funny. You know, these traps are here, you don't have to run into them. You know they're there. And yet, you decided to anyways. How's your health? You're gonna bleed out in 11 hours, whatever. That cougar is not in the club looking for anybody, you stop. She is a respectable woman. See, she is a strong, respectable cougar who don't need no man. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Get all this replaced. Fuck yeah, dude. I do like the hospitality mod, though. Like, like if you get the hospitality mod going and really, like, work with your guests and everything, they give you some good stuff. It's worth it. I think it's worth it, at least. Um, yeah, let's get the tattered apparel problem fixed. Yeah, we'll get the tattered apparel problem fixed. Yeah, okay, rim qu yeah, the hospitality is good. Hospitality is a fun one. You can actually let people stay over at your colony. You can charge them for rooms and stuff like that. Um, oh, you'll be right back. I'll wait till you get back to explain the rest of it. Oh, our medical beds. Oh, our our beautiful home. Please put this fire out. Guys? Guys? Can you please put out this fire? Anita is being burned by superheated air. I need this fire to be put out, though. If y'all could do this, I would really appreciate it. I need all hands on deck, like, putting out this fire. I need all hands on deck putting out this fire, please. Thank you. Holy shit. All right, well, I'm not too worried about getting our uh, stuff back. Let's make sure our power cables are still good. 
Uh, looks like we're fine. We should be able to refill these batteries pretty easy because everything's shocked out during the day, so the solar panels will help us with that. Anyways, um, yeah, the hospitality mod's really good. You can, you, you basically can set up a hotel. So these beds are just for guests. You can do a lot with them. You can set uh, how much it costs to be in that bed. Um, normally, I just do it for free. They can just hang out, whatever. Uh, you are able to talk to them while they're here. You can try to recruit them if they like you enough. If you try to recruit them, their original faction will hate you, probably afterwards. But you can still do it, like if you're in desperate need. Uh, they will often leave you gifts if they're happy. Lots of good stuff. Um, but it's normally not that complicated to get going, you know? The other one that I have, Rim Quest, is one of my favorites. Uh, it just, every time there's like a caravan or a wanderer or like any kind of real like group of NPC coming through... They will have an exclamation point over their head. And what you can do is you can get a quest from them. Um, you will be able to choose between multiple quests, generally. And uh, you don't have to take them. They do cost 200 silver each. And it's just a way to kind of force quests to be available. If, like, Randy or any of the other storytellers aren't really giving you a whole lot of things to do. You have some extra money, you want to go crazy and just deal with some stuff. Like, it, I, I think it's great because it puts a little more control into your hands. Cougar is fully healed. Was the cougar hurt? Was he inside when the fire exploded? I guess so. Fair enough. Poor cougar. I still think it's hilarious that we tamed a cougar. We just have one. The the Mega Sloth self-tamed. That was not me. But I'm super glad that it happened. Because that thing's been super useful. Uh, install this statue, though. We'll install it in the dining room. Oven is fully healed. Thank God. Now, the thing we were going to do is these freaking beds. Uh, what are we going to do with these? I think we're going to uninstall both of these beds. And we'll build two more hospital beds. Actually, we can build four more hospital beds, but I don't think we need that many. Do we need more than four, frankly? Like, if we need more than four, we're probably fucked. Like, <laughs> this is a situation where it's like, ah, it's just nice to have another one. No, like, if we need four hospital beds, we're probably in a lot of trouble. We're in, we're in more trouble than a hospital bed is going to resolve. Uh, Chotro not doing amazing. Uh, yo, like, can I borrow y'all for a second? Can you uninstall this bed, please? Thank you. Holy shit. Like, I'm not asking a lot, man. Just uninstall the bed. I love RimWorld, man, and the colonists are hilarious, but can y'all, like, do some work? Like, that I want you to do? Can you install this sculpture, please? That y'all have been clamoring about? Foremost fiesta opportunity. Oh, this needs to be a dignified room. No work facilities allowed. Understood. Understood. I don't think there's any work facilities in here, right? Uh, you can also just put it in here, frankly. Christy, can you move this for me? I know you're, like, currently working on something, but Christy? Christy, can you hear me? Can you move this? Thank you. All right, cool. Thank you. I much appreciate it. Put that statue down. Boom, done. Area revealed. Oh, cool. Yeah, so we're breaking through this just so we can kind of install this area and then maybe set mortars up later. I know what they told me, but I kind of want to make mortars here. You know? Maybe we do mortars? Uh, ignore roof area? Remove roof area. Okay, I want to remove roof area right here. And then right there. I want that to be open air, just in case we do need to set some mortars or other stuff down there. Uh, other than that, I wonder what we can use this area for. I don't know. Can definitely do something with it, though. We can definitely do something. The goat is pregnant, I understand. Uh, deconstruct this wall. So we need to do that to do this. Foremost Fiesta. Understood. We are going to do a Foremost Fiesta. Rose, I want you to start the Foremost Fiesta. 
Oh, it's time for a light ball. Active loudspeakers. Let's go. You know what? We're just going to install these. Nope. Same place we always do. Just going to reinstall our loudspeakers. Let's get the light ball in here. All right. I need you three to do this. Uh, you know, Karina, I know you're doing your research, but let's do this so that we can have this fiesta, please. Alright, cool. It's time for a foremost fiesta, baby. 77% chance isn't terrible. I don't feel like building out the loudspeakers to make it higher. <laughs> They're gonna jam for a little bit. I hope this makes them happy. Defenses are getting a bit better. Uh, these wood doors probably do need to get replaced. Uh, buy some... Steel doors? You know what? Honestly, I don't think a steel door is bad. The Wanderer has joined. What is going on? What is happening? Am I being raided? It's like being raided on Twitch. All right. So we have an excavation available. Unforgettable. Foremost Fiesta. Plus 16 mood for six days. A logger named Clay has arrived and wants to join the colony. He's willing to contribute but will not leave voluntarily. Did he come because he heard my shit? You know what? Welcome to the colony, bro. Honestly? Like, welcome to... Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Yo. My boy is looking like Walker, Texas Ranger. If Walker, Texas Ranger was Paul Bunyan. I'm digging it. What is your thing? You're already acquainted with a couple of us, apparently. You hate Tess, but that's not a big surprise. Everyone hates Tess. You're a night owl. You're a tough night owl who can't do intellectual, but you can do plants and animals and cooking. Okay, so hear me out. Hear me the freak out. You're our new cook. Uh, you are also going to be growing like crazy and plant cutting. You can do art if you want to. You can absolutely firefight and be a patient. I'm into it. You can haul. You can be. You can do basic shit. I don't care, man. Uh, this is absolutely what you're going to be doing. But your schedule is going to be a little different from everybody else's. You know what I mean, man? Uh, so we'll let you sleep. Boom. Is Tuxoa Brew also a night owl? Have I forgotten that basic information about my good friend Tox? I feel like I have. I feel like I've forgotten this. You are absolutely a night owl. So you two cats are going to really enjoy each other, hopefully. You know, just being around each other, be friends and shit. Uh, I don't need you to hunt. I don't know if you knew this. But it's fine. Don't worry about it. We have so many people, dude. We have, like, no fighting ability. You suck at fighting, so whatever. Lynx is hunting Robbie. I don't accept this. I do not accept this. Where is Robbie? Robbie is... Not going to allow this. Uh, we're going to bait this lynx in a little bit. Come on, buddy. Come on. Okay. Then we're going to we're gonna pick up some potatoes. We're going to run like hell. Because you're still hunting Robbie, right? You're definitely hunting Robbie. Oh, you're attacking my uh, Mega Sloth now. You, you really sure that's what you want to do? Yeah, I didn't think so. Link's Revenge. Yeah, he got freaking... <laughs> uh, that's really funny. Anita, can you just kill this Lynx for me, please? Mega Sloth should be fine. Yeah, he got scratched four times and is lightly bleeding. I think he'll be okay. He's gonna make it through. Excavation. You've learned of an ancient complex nearby, said to contain information about Ideo Chalice. If you can break into the structure and hack the computers inside, you can collect the information. There may be all manner of dangers inside, and other enemies may also be attracted by activity. You know what? You know what? We're doing it. We're doing it while Tess is still alive, hardy and hale, able to shoot, able to fight. We're freaking doing it, dude. We've got two ancient complexes over here, Jesus Christ. Uh, world? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. You're going in. Who are we sending? I'll tell you who we're sending. We're sending Chotra, sending Yoshiko, sending Tess. 
And we're sending... We're sending Aloe. Oh yeah, we're sending Aloe. You know why? Because we're taking the Cougar with us. Are you kidding me? Uh, take two Dromedaries. Call me in the morning. Uh, take your travel supplies. And then take some medication, honestly. I really want y'all to take some medicine. Y'all not going to take any medicine? Where is medicine? Donde S2 medicine? I feel like it's hiding from me in plain sight. In, in the plainest sight possible. There's no way we're out. I refuse to believe we don't have herbal medicine anywhere. Holy shit. Do we just not have herbal medicine anymore? Alright, well, whatever. Go. I'm sending you. Yeah, they don't need a whole lot of food because literally they're just right next door. Uh, herbal medicine, though? Can we talk about herbal medicine? We have 183 of it and it's just not available, I guess. Are you actually screwing with me right now? I feel like I'm being screwed with, like, slightly. I don't know how this is going to go, by the way. Oh my god. We better not get betrayed while we're gone, by the way. Like, if we get betrayed while we're while I'm gone, I'm going to fucking flip my shit. Meteorite with silver ore. I'm into that. I am super into that. We will mine this later. It can be a priority. We got some ducks. How many ducks? How many ducks, though? Fucking nine ducks have joined! <laughs> what am I supposed to do with all these ducks? You're kidding me? You're kidding me! It's nine ducks! That being said, I don't really see a reason to get rid of them. We have hay. We have 13,000 pieces of hay. Only some of which rots at any given point in the future. Like, in the actual future. So you know what? I think we're solid on the hay. The hay is not going to be an issue. Are you fucking with me? I'm just making sure all of my crops are growing properly. We probably just need Robbie and uh, someone else to actually plant a little bit harder. But I think we're doing okay. You go to bed pretty easy? Good. Thank you for taking care of that for me. He did the hand movements with me tonight. Did he? Well, he did it uh, yesterday, right? He did the whole clapping thing. He did real... Like, he was tired, but he still did it. What's wrong? You forget something? Glasses. <laughs> you always forget your glasses after you... Yeah, like, you... It's always after you sit down, too. It's like, ah. I have not sat down once today. Once. <laughs> where I have not done something. <laughs> not once. It happens. It happens, though. Yo, it do be happening, though. Sometimes you just be forgetting. I understand that. I do understand. Y'all are just like... Okay, finally, they're leaving. I swear to God. It's like a it's like a three-second trip down there, but they're taking three years to get ready and go. I would really like for them to maybe hurry the fuck up. Uh, we can actually uninstall this stuff. Can we build four more of these? Okay, cool. I don't want four more built right there, but, 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 having four more would be good. Because then, there's no issue. Generating map. Yeah, like, they got there immediately, because it's right there, and they took dromedaries with them. The dromedaries are here to load everything. What's up? Did he get in there? Yeah, he doesn't get to stay back there if he's in attack mode. Weird cat. Alright. Uh, is that the only way in? Yeah, only way in is this door. Oh, man. Alright, let's go. We're, uh, we're shooting the... Shooting the moon? We're not shooting the moon. We're shooting the curve, baby. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we're going for broke on this one. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to try it. We've got a decent attack squad, to be completely honest. 
It's just a matter of wait, what? Oh, y'all having a y'all having a little social fight? Could y'all not do that actually while I'm gone? I don't have the time to like see what's happening at home. I just need like to do this. Uh, Rhinoceri, please do not attack me. That's my only current request. They're no longer social fighting. Can you give me one second to go make sure neither of them are gonna die? No. Who else is hurt? Okay, neither of you are gonna die, so whatever. Who cares? You'll be you'll be medicated soon, anyways. All right, Chultra is fully healed. Let's see what we got going on in here. All right, we have got an ancient lamp. I freaking hate these unstable fuel nodes. So what we're actually gonna do is just go ahead and deconstruct this entire wall. I'm gonna let Tess do that while we. You are going to go open this Hermetic Crate, and you are going to go hack this terminal. I need to go ahead and claim a couple of things. And Clotra, you are just going to kind of make your way. What's going on? Go pick this up. Okay, that actually was not that bad. We need to make some home area. I did not actually consider this. Uh, you and you need to go beat out this fire. You need to open this hermetic crate like immediately and then be prepared to run. And then Aloe, I want you to go hack this terminal still. You pick up the plasteel. Then get, no, you pick up the plasteel. Now, all three of you are heading up. All three of you are going in. Okay. Claim. In. Noop. Noop. Out. 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 Immediately out. Okay. This is all home area as well. So I need all this fire to be beat out, please. If you can. It's getting hot in there. Uh, you are not going in there. Not gonna lie to you. Oh, what's in here? Ancient operating table. Ancient comms console. Tess can just hack this ancient terminal. Wait, unstable fuel node where? Oh, in there. I don't give a damn about that. Uh, you two can come around here. Al is almost done. 60 unfertilized duck eggs are not what I was expecting out of that terminal. I'm not going to lie to you. Man, that ancient enemy terminal is going to have an issue. Hopefully all the oxygen just gets murdered out of there, and then we can go in. Alright, we hacked one of the two terminals. Can Tess get that one before there's an issue, is the question. Come on, baby, you can do it. You can do it. No, you're not done. You're not done. I'm sorry I walked off. Oops. We got it. Oh, we're getting raided. Uh-oh. We hacked all the terminals and discovered secret information about IDO Chalice. You can now leave. Okay. That's completed. How many of these dudes? Oh, is it just this one dude named Gray Frog? Just the one dude? Am I supposed to be, like, actually concerned about that? Come on in. Let's get her down here. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. I didn't realize it was that hot in there. No, the heat. The heat had moved over. No, Tess, come on. Oh, thank you. 
Alright, get out. Everyone out. There's a timber wolf up there. I just don't want to deal with it, frankly. Really just don't want to deal with that timber wolf, I'm not gonna lie to you. Where's that dude? Oh, there he is. He's up there. The fuck is he doing? Moving. But to where? Alright, guys. Fuck him up. Oh, he's attacking that timber wolf. Okay. I respect that. I respect that he's in a lot of trouble. Take out the timber wolf while we're at it. Good job. Uh, what kind of gear do you have on you, dude? Tribal wear. It's not even worth it. Uh, Yoshiko, just finish off this timber wolf. Then I think we're probably good to go, honestly. Raids arriving in 3.1 days is where we get the fuck out of here. That is where we officially reform caravan and just leave. Uh, are we going to take any of this other stuff with us? No, we are not. To be compl completely honest. Uh, we picked up everything I actually care about. So yeah, just take our shit and go. Uh, grab the herbal medicine and grab the duck eggs. Yeah, grab the duck eggs. I know what I said before about not caring about the duck eggs. Now that it's not a problem, I care about the duck eggs slightly more. Colonist needs treatment. Christy. Christy, how are you doing? No, no, no one has healed you after these, uh, these cracks and bruises? Really? Sure? Alright, well. Karina, can you move these beds for me, please? That one, too. Be a peach. It is appreciated. Alright, work is getting done down here, too. We are slowly but surely, uh, retrofitting our old, uh... Our old kill box from wood to slate. So that should be a little hardier to fire. So that we can possibly use mortars later. That is my preference. It's what I want. Caravan has arrived at Andy Sandberg. I'm happy to see them here. Once, uh, once my team gets up here, we'll go ahead and unload all the shit that they brought. How are we doing on our... Quest for the Idea Chalice. We have three out of four. Or, I mean, we have three out of five pieces of info about the relic. We have a fourth one that we could go do. It's very similar to the one that we just did. Uh, Yoshiko has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. That's a problem. Um, you know what? Just sleep there. Actually, don't just sleep there. Go fucking rest. Please just go rest. Go rest. Don't worry about the animal filth. Just sleep. Holy shit. What am I supposed to do with you people? You've got a simple meal. Uh, Tess, you are holding duck eggs. You have now dropped duck eggs. Y'all are just sleeping out here, huh? This is really, really what you're doing. This is, uh... This do be what you're doing, though. Aloe, go pull this shit. Wild man wanders in, huh? Minty. You are not that great. You know what? Go live your life, man. Go live your life. We do not need to... We do not need to recruit every single crazy person that walks into this area. Go and live your goddamn life, my friend. Uh, I will not bother you if you will not bother me, and we'll all be a lot happier for the situation. Uh, who else did I take with me? So it was, yeah, it was Tess, Aloe, Yoshiko, and Chotra, 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 Chotra. You didn't have anything on you, so everything's fine. Good job, everyone. We got some good information. We got so much corn, dude. We have, like... We got so much fucking corn. We have so much freaking corn. Uh, honestly? 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 Honestly, just make like, just make like 20 of each meal. And we'll just have, um, 
love everyone who can cook, like, well, just do it. Just fucking cook. Just, just, just process all this damn corn into some freaking meals, dude. So we don't have, we don't have shit for fine meals anymore. We are feeding a lot of people, though, right now. Admittedly, we are feeding 15 people. Clay, how you doing, man? Like, 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 what's your life like? Are you doing all right? You kind of enjoying your life here? I know you kind of came in at a weird point of my life, and a weird point of your life, probably, but how are you doing, dude? Royal Tribute Collector, do we even have any gold? Like, straight up? I don't think we do. You can just go eat a fart. Uh, he can consume one fart. Let's see... You really don't... We, re we just really don't have a better gun for you either, do we? Yeah. You can just... You can just keep using your knife. Ideally, I don't think I really use you for combat anyways. Uh, Karina Toxoabru. Tox, are you stoned? You are not stoned. Get out here. I hate that I have to ask that with my colonists. Hey, Tox, are you stoned? Okay, cool. Then come be useful. Tox, get out here. Alright, we, yeah, we did not have any gold. Uh, you're healing, but, like, what's up with you? Prisoner will, willing to join. Hospitality prisoners. Hospitality refugee. Prisoner willing to join. Let's see who we got. It is... Bear? Bear? Oh, yeah. No, we absolutely have to go do this. Four turrets and a pirate. But here's the thing. We have to go do this. That's Tox's... Uh, lover like we absolutely have to go do this all right we're going this is hell like this is not what i want to go do at all but like we're going we have to go take chotra take aloe take tox dude and then take tess we're absolutely gonna take the two dromedaries Take your travel supplies. And we're going to the fucking moon, dude. I can't believe this. Like, like this isn't even... This isn't even a situation where, like, oh, I really want to have this person. It's not that I want them. It's that I have to save them. It's very necessary. We're going to do a hard save, because we haven't hard saved in a while. Like, almost an hour. No, it was actually yesterday that we hard saved. By yesterday, I mean, like, at least ten minutes ago. It's now a different day. Uh, we have to go do this. Because if you if you go take a look at Toxo, and take a look at uh, their social, you'll notice there's a certain Cambiar bear who uh, who is their lover. So I think we're going to have to go do something about that. I think we need to go do something about that. I'm pretty sure it's the same bear. If it's a different bear, good job. You've managed to find a way for me to come and help you no matter what. Um, if you're not the same bear, I mean, if you are the same bear, I'm, I'm coming. We're on our way. Oh, did I take the cougar? Holy shit. Hold on. Hold, hold a second. Hold a second. One cougar, please. A uh, cougar. Add to caravan. Boom. Done. Cougar's coming with us. I don't want the cougar to die. The cougar has been a friend to all of us. It has, uh, it has not gained a name in any kind of nuzzling way, which kind of bugs me a little bit, but what are you going to do? Oh, get rid of this meditation spot, by the way. This is a dumb place for it. Um, This is just ugly. Let's get rid of that. And build this up to match. Build copy. Build a fucking copy! Are you actually screwing with me right now? There we go. It's like, are you messing with me? What what is happening? <laughs> I feel like things are happening. Why is no construction work getting done? We have three people set to construct. One of them, Oven, should be constructing before they do almost literally anything else. I feel like constructing is not what he's really worried about. <coughs> Alright. Trade caravan is heading out. I'm very glad that we are extreme friends with the Red Imperium. Yeah, I know, we don't have, like, 
We don't really have, like, a fucking... Oh, the Lambie Union, huh? Um... What was I gonna say? Yeah, we, we don't really have anyone with any royal title or anything, but just being friends with that faction is infinitely better than being neutral to enemies with them. Well, and you would be like, yeah, obviously, it's better to be friends with them than not. No, you don't freaking understand. Like, I don't want to be pissing off the royal factions. We're running dangerously low on components. I'm just now noticing. We are running wickedly low on components. And something needs to be done about that. I don't know what pristine ruins found nearby. That would be great if we didn't already have stuff to do. We definitely have stuff to do. Um, our lack of components are going to become a huge problem here soon. And I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do about it. Um... And, oh man, the Red Imperium is not going to be our ally for very much longer if we don't get some more goodwill with them. Got to work on that. Relations went down with everybody. You know what? Vertal Baron is still at, like, negative 32. I'll tell you what, that's still better than it was. Where it was, like, negative 70-something. I kind of wish that they would let me have, you know... My boy, the other Wonder Twin back, but whatever, man, right? Yo, we're finding all these work sites. Y'all are just... Y'all have no food? You trying to tell me you have no food? You left with, like, two days worth of food 0.5 days ago, and you are out of food? Are you actually fucking with me? You are 100% you are joking me? All right. Um, once again, we're going to hard save. I, I, once again, am not the kind of person who likes to save scum, but if we lose all of our combatants here, we may reset once to try to see if it goes a little better. Uh, because if we lose all our combatants, I mean, we've done it before, but I really don't feel like coming back from that again, if we're being completely honest. Oven hit a trap, because, you know, he keeps forgetting about the traps he builds. He's kind of dumb like that. He'll die in 11 hours, that's fine. You know, whatever. I don't don't feel like you need to go rest or anything. Okay, he's already tending to him. Thank you for getting there. Jesus Christ, I was wondering. Alright, we are at the prisoner camp. Let's take a look at what we got. We got bear. This is absolutely not the same bear. It's not the same bear at all. This is a different bear. What are your what's your bio? Artistic, medical, and shooting. I feel like I've been hornswoggled a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, there's some decent meals here, but honestly... Whisper Kit Kitsune. Decent mining. He's got a freaking... Your man has a freaking shield belt! It's a problem! It's an actual problem. Uh, is there another dude here? I thought there was another dude here. It said there were like two dudes. Two dudes? Are there any dudes here? I don't see a second dude. I could have sworn there was another pirate though. But I sure don't see them. Okay, do we actually want to go through with this? Because this is not who we thought it was. We can definitely help them, but I feel like it's more work than I really want to put in for a person I don't care about. Can I be honest with you? I'm just going to nope out of this. Yeah, I don't think so. Now then. Four people at the steel mill. Well, we don't like them. We don't like either of these people. So really, we could deal with either of them. Uh, you want to head down to this work site because they do have pemmican. We're going to need that. Uh, I hate kind of leaving that dude high and dry, but let's be completely honest. We were not going to. That was not the bear that I thought that it was. And honestly, the fact that it didn't say something like, oh, there's a relation to this one probably should have said something to me. Uh, these use components. So we're going to just cancel all of these. 
just kind of realize that components are used in those. So we're just going to skip making those. Oh, we need to do something to get some components, like 100%. I need something that can make components. Uh, com component. Advanced fabrication. So we're gonna have to go through multi analyzer to fabrication. No? Am I wrong? To get to advanced fabrication, which unlocks advanced component. What advanced component? What else? What else? What is? What else gives me? Can I not make components with anything that I have? Okay. That will officially be a problem. I'm gonna have to find some other way. It's the only way around it, right? We can shred some mechanoids, but we don't have mechanoids to shred right now. Berries have rotted away in storage. Ask me if I care. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. New quest has become active. Mech cluster with a weather controller. It has landed not far from me. There's a weather controller machine there, forcing weather in the whole region to fog, and there's a mech cluster. The mech cluster will remain until you send a team there to attack and destroy it. It's not even that far away from me. But I'm terrified. Absolutely terrified of how that's going to go. But uh, maybe we'll deal with that later. For now, we're going to deal with the solar flare. And just like the solar flare has turned off my electronics, I think it's about time to turn off my electronics. All you YouTube people, thank you very much for joining me for this episode. I will see you next episode with more of the Count Ship of Waterdown. <laughs>